Hey guys, it's the Hi Asinus here, and welcome back to another episode of my unboxing videos. The ones I usually do on a day week by weekly basis or whatnot, but I'm back. And holy shit, it's been a couple of while since we actually uh, make an unboxing video. I may be in a three day hiatus, but that's because my schedule has been kind of weird. To say the least, but I'm back, and I'm better than ever, and I'm not. I'm not beat up, that's for sure, but here we are. So, as you might know, today is another Kamen Rider gear showcase called Shatsu in Depth, and this type is not Shiro 1 or Shio, but it's actually kind of different. It's from a company called Boofin, they distribute uh, Kamen Rider merch, and today's segment we got to try that is the, the Deluxe Kamen Rider Double. Lost Driver Fortune 20th Edition. Now, as I said, this was actually released before the 20th release edition. The funny part about this is that this already existed before then. Although finding something that does not the 20th, 20th version was kind of hard to find. Uh, this was actually released during the production of CO when uh, when the series was actually going to end, and this was part of the 20th anniversary, and this was highly requested. So, it's like a reprint of the Lost Driver. I never watched W, no watched the films, so I can only assume that this driver has some potential. My only best bet so far is that the driver has a lot of potential to say the least, and I never watched W, never, I never heard, heard about the W driver, but this is it. Now, obviously, I don't, I don't have the official driver. There's actually the CMM fortune, but it's actually too pricey. It does cost about 80 bucks on a blue, a bluefin brand. So I must get this for dope cheap. So here it is. I'm actually surprised that I'm actually get this for cheap because on Amazon they usually, on um, eBay or Amazon they usually charge you uh, more for this driver. But this is not a. Uh, CSM exclusive. This is more of this is not PM Bandai. This is just the default Dark Chaser with uh, yes, some quality, but there it is and vice versa. So, yeah, so I got this on Brew Friend the other day, and apparently, I want to see if they actually do deliver. They usually deliver by FedEx, but apparently, uh, when you buy the from the official website, you actually get a Gundam of the uh, Bandai Spirits Model Kits. And you pretty much get a Dragon Ball Z Figma sticker, and you also get the Tamadashi Tamadashi Nation Tama, Tamashi Nations Quality Magazine, 2019, mind you. And they usually just put a lot of effort, and it's been so decent, and I wouldn't mind. But uh, I not, I wasn't on that huge one gone pro, but whatever. Well, it took it takes about it took me about seven days for this to arrive. It took about seven days for this wife, and it didn't take that long. They actually took the actual day, and because it's like the local shipping compared to two weeks, it's actually ten times faster. So I'm glad I actually got this sooner. And I, I suggest you actually get your stars from Boofin and Brands if you want to get your goddess of figurines. That's the case, but let's, let's open this. I want to see what's inside. I had to disaffect it because the guy's hands was kind of shreddy, but no pressure. Not easy in the street, so ah, let's see what we have so far. I we got one cardboard, and here it is. Uh, this is what is actually included in the package. I don't know the whole detail, but this is actually included in the package. Now, as you might know, uh, the orange driver is kind of similar to the W driver, but. It only has one handle and it's not symmetrical compared to other drivers in the market. And the thing about this driver is that it only has one setting. Now you notice that this is the only uh, driver that doesn't have any battery. Yes, this is the only driver that doesn't have any battery unit. Compared to the GQ and the large rifle, uh, there's no battery input on the back. So meaning that you can't really uh, put in any, any, you can't put triple A batteries on the back. So that's the uh, uh, that's the short notice. Now how does it work? How does the sound effects work in terms of quality? Well, I gotta ask. So the Yacht driver, uh, both the W and the Yacht drivers utilizes uh, 
the guy batteries now these are smart usb these are smart usb uh gimmicks that only that work that work well with both the double and the large driver and for the most part uh these are usually the smart usb likes it's actually kind of way smart compared to the tq driver and the large driver and it's usually way better than i don't know and i would say these are usually kind of hard to find because finding the locks and the csm versions are usually kind of hard but the way this usually works so far is that you have to use it it, it, it is dependent on the sound effects of the sky memories so for the most part because that's how, the only batteries you even need are small LR4 for batteries and these are used kind of necessary if you want to uh, put this in so far uh, as I about the size the guy makes are not even that big I thought they was gotta be small but that's actually kind of medium so it's not even that bad and vice versa It's not usually that much bad in comparison, and I'm surprised that the driver itself is not even that big, but whatever. And another thing about this driver is that it ha it's actually included with the, it's actually included with the uh, trap they actually use to actually do your finishing move. So for the most part, uh, this is kind of necessary if you want to, let's say, uh, do it. And also, it also includes a belt that's actually kind of different uh, compared to auto uh, headset riders belts. Alright, crap. To begin with, uh, it has a different belt to uh, waist layout compare. And as I said before, uh, this one is actually kind of different because the belt size is actually kind of obscure and compared to all the hesse rattle belts at the beginning uh this one requires you to wear a lot of it now you do, you do need a belt extender and i'm not sure how long this is but So as I said, you just clip this on on the section, and you just usually do your own scene. It's kind of weird, but it's the only headset rattle belt that's usually kind of different. Yeah, I think I may, may have put this in the wrong way. And it's kind of hard to see because you can't really tell which one it's supposed to go. One thing that's actually kind of difficult is trying to put the driver and the belt on. So as you may notice, this one is actually kind of different compared to all the rider belts in the franchise in the sense that you actually have to put this in and I guess this was supposed to be... Uh, I try to put this on, it's not actually simple and uh, you do need to have some level of patience if you want to wear this belt because apparently the way they actually manufacture it is not actually pro it's not actually simple and I figure once you put this in it's gonna be difficult to take out you can try to use some your know, force but it's not gonna be pressable so I would have recommend it. And uh, this is actually it. So that's actually the last rival in a nutshell. And uh, remember I said that this thing doesn't have any batteries? Well, it doesn't have any batteries on the back, but it depends on the... Um, it depends on the guy memory, so... Yeah, let me explain this. So the way this guy made it works is that you need to actually insert this in in the actual rifle. You press this in the nacha, and then 
sorry you press this uh you press the button you don't need to press it on the force activation but you press this put this in and then says henching and then that, that's how it happens and vice versa so that's the sign effect for the skull so that's the sign effect for, bo for both the skull and the tunnel and it usually works either way and holy crap I suck of it but okay And that's about it. So that's both the finishing moves for the uh that's both sorry, that's that's both the deactivated cells for both. And you So both of the side effects are actually kinda of different and in comparison these USB drives uh gimmicks usually have a lot of different features. This one sounds like it's high quality, where this one sounds kinda digital. So let's see what you're supposed to do. So let's see what we have if you actually put this in the uh, finishing drive. So we put this in so far, and we actually play the standby sound in repeat for God knows what, if you actually press this, so. And when you press this around, uh, it actually does the maximum drive. And it's usually kind of different compared to the uh, default standby sounds. On, on this sound, the skull, the skull uh, maximum drive is usually kind of lagging sounds. Of course, this is actually kind of different if you want to read this around, and uh, this is the only deluxe version that is actually uh, kind of decent to say the least. So, to recap, uh, the only way you can actually hand chain is if you, have, if you have the USB uh, drive. If you have the guy memory, it's actually work well to hand chain, but honestly, the fact that this costs about 80 bucks you get, and this is not the CSM version, although I would like to have one. Uh, this is more of the deluxe version that has less sound quality and it doesn't really work that well in comparison but whatever so if you really want to usually get this on your own record uh you could but uh, be be aware that it's not gonna be that much simple ah. and now now how does how does it feel to wear the belt you might ask well, I gotta ask, uh, in terms of actual wearability and compatibility, uh, the belt itself is usually kind of, uh, kind of unusual. Now, as any deluxe toys usually get, the belt doesn't really fit you unless you have the, uh, extender. And as I said before, uh, if you want to change this, if you want to dismount this for display, it's going to be difficult. The way you're actually supposed to do this is that you're supposed to actually use this with force, and you might break it if you're not really careful. So once this actually goes in, it's kind of stuck. You can't take this out, and no matter how you try, it's actually stuck there for all eternity. And what happens, happens. Uh, so you can't really take this piece out. It's impossible to actually take this out unless you use some boot force, but even then, it's got to break the driver, and it's not going to be a comfortable thing. But this part actually comes so simply, but not the other one. So, yeah. So what, how does it feel to actually wear the belt when you race? I'm actually great your ass. Uh, for the while I never, I always wanted to do the car spray for skull and internal, but I never see the whole point. But because these are usually deluxe uh, versions, you might have to use a belt extender to uh, put this in. And I guess that this was, and this was actually made before the events of. for the events but let's see how tight it is now let's see how tight uh this driver is because i don't know how 
I don't know how sensitive the I don't know how tight the drum is in comparison, but let's see how tight this is. And it is tight. Holy crap. I stand corrected. So if as you probably been my notice, it's tight around the waist. I actually have two bell standards. It's gotta be a panty as well, but how if it's wear this? Well, it's not even that hard. It's not that it's fit so tight on my race. Maybe it's because I have too much body fat, but who knows? And for the why, it's not even that bad fit. I w I will admit that the production for quality is usually kind of great, but. Now, as I, said, as I said before, if you're gonna wear this, you, you need to have a tight stomach and a tight waist. It's really kind of cool, but it's not the same with the driver, and trying to take this off is like, whew, you might need more bell standards, but I guess you have, you have to usually keep it on the center. I don't know how possible, I don't know, I don't know how you supposed to wear it, but who knows. And the way you transform is actually kind of simple. It's not even that difficult per se, and most of all, it's not even that difficult to say the least. And to be fair, it's not that. Ah, crap. Hey, yeah, when you sit down, it is still kind of tight, but the thing you need to know about Red Dead Driver is that even though it does get a little bit tight, you might need to use some body fat around your stomach because the smaller you have, the more easy it is. And try to bend down. A bit down is actually the difficult part, especially when you try to cosplay. But even with the bed standard, you might need two more bed standards because this thing is so tight to the point where I can't even breathe. And vice versa, it does in fact work. And vice versa, so these only things you need batteries. You need these three type of batteries to keep it function and why not? So let's take this off. Oh, uh, yep, that's tight. <laughs> So, for the most part, it's actually kind of tight at, uh... I guess you want to break this on your record, go ahead. Uh, there's no way you actually could take this out. If you plan to wear this, yeah, you kind of screwed. The only way you can actually take this off is if you actually use some force, but... Once it's in there, it's in there. Uh, you can't really take this off, and... That's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. For the most part, uh, this is not a bad rifle in comparison. The only, the only complaint so far is that you can't really take this off, so you kind of suck, and you can't just lose any deluxe belt. You have to use this belt to usually uh, wear this on. So even with the belt standard, you are kind of screwed because this is the only throw that only accept this one. And as I said before, you might need a bigger waist or meet, need more belts. It's actually kind of tight compared to the Siku rival, but even though that's usually kind of better compared to this, this one is actually kind of permanent. You could try to take this off with force, but you might break it, and then you have to get a replacement or get the CS CSM frozen, but for the most part, it is what it is. So you kind of stuck with the, uh, with the spell being trapped and why not? So you might have to be careful while you wear it so far. And speaking of carefulness, there's supposed to be some attractions that are supposed to tell you how to take out the belt, but I can't re it or why not? But, uh, I, it's actually kind of stuck to the cardboard.
and also there's also and also keep in mind that I keep in mind that the belt itself is actually kind of neat accessory but if you're trying to wear this uh if you're trying to wear this in the cosplay be aware it's got to be tight also it's kind of easier to steal about this because the, once you have to keep in once you have to keep in mind about it is that uh it's just to steal this rifle on the get-go so anyone could just pickpocket this and that's and you just you, and this just lost 80 bucks so yeah you have to be careful where you ran this because there's actually got a lot of people want, that want to steal this and because this one costs about 80 bucks posh with shipping i said that this one costs about 93 bucks in total don't know why but that's that's the life it does come with a belt buckle but it's not really necessary to wear it and you don't need the belt buckle as much as you do but all right not actually simple but it is what it is I only wish that the I only wish that the belt would actually be big, but this is the deluxe version. Uh, it's not what actually. Is it? Uh, the this is the deluxe. Uh, come to ride a W large driver belt at pretty much uh pretty much the it's pretty much a um local version of the original W trifle, but whatever. So yeah, and also be careful with your and confections or whatnot because if you can just take this out and because it's easier to just snatch it, yeah, it's gotta be difficult. So just a bit of fact, there's gotta be a couple more. There's supposed to be some attractions, but there's none. Power Rangers, Transformers. Uh. It's not, it's actually Kamen Rider, it's a tokusatsu, so that's actually exclusive in Japan. And uh, I managed to get this on for Dochi for 80 bucks, so it's not even that difficult. Uh, Charging by the information, once you keep this in, it's, it can't be taken out. And uh, they had to tape the attractions on the box. Don't know why, but it happens. But I'm as well keep this because I might need it in the future, and because I might I can't re it, but it is what it is. So yeah. And that's the actual mention so far is that even though, uh, even though, even though the guy memories were are only thing you need to be compatible. Um, uh, they do have an interesting feature with the Zero One Trifle, where they have a Mega Fortune. I'm not white, no, it's a white, but but apparently they have a Mega Fortune similar to the uh Poets Keys, and that's and that's something I want to point out. So apparently they have a magnet, they have a magnet uh, inside of, and so that's that's a fact. Walk. I don't know what to say, but uh, yeah. So I guess that's about it to say the least, but whatever. Uh, that's about it for the lost rifle. I don't know what to say about it. Um, the only thing I could say so far is that you could just use this with any bed buckle. You could use this attachment with any bed buckle to make it mostly interesting. So you could just put it on your zero one rifle and start use your gas memories to usually do your maximum maximum drive and have your uh impact so for the most part it does in fact work in your favor there's like a combination to say the least but whatever so i actually kind of like this i just i only bought this because i want to have the um 
the uh, Gamma Melodies are only exclusive to this set. I didn't get the CSM version because even though they have some griddle, they cost about 400 bucks, 800 depending on the sale. And for the most part, it's kind of hard to find. But beyond that, it's not even a bad driver. It's as it, it's not the same as the W driver. And if you want something to be a uh, mix and matching, you might have to get uh, the official. You might have to get the official W driver, even though get the deluxe version is gonna be a pain in the ass because you can't even get, find them. Besides, it's actually another version of this, and I can't afford to spend about 400 bucks. I really want to do some saving, but these are actually kind of cool. I only wish that there's actually more production fight into it, but who knows? It is what it is. So, for the most part, it's not even a bad driver in comparison. It does need some improvements and does need some expertise, but for the most part, uh, if you have some patience, it's not got, it's not that much of an issue per se. Only made to complain that it's just too small. Also, if you have some dust in your house, you might need to usually put this upside down when you put it on shelves because if this dust usually gets on top, it's gotta be a pain in the ass to clean it up and you might be and you might need to uh, clean this out. It's, because it's black, you can't really see well and it's not gonna be that much simple, so water caution. But beyond that, if you really want to get this for as Have a you got the Batman utility belt? Oh uh, yeah, I actually got the utility belt uh, in source. Uh, it's actually hidden behind, so why not? But that's about it for the zero one driver. Sorry, that's a, that's about it for the zero one driver. There's like one handprint. I don't know. It's because of an issue, but who knows? Might need to clean up, but it is what it is. So beyond that. Rat tat tat sign off subscribe leave a like comment down turn on notifications why not have you guys are actually ready for another season so peace out sign now hope you guys have a decent summer don't get hot don't get sick whatever and happy holidays you need it as i do and whatnot bye bye and good night